All right, 100. Yes, sir. 100. Uh, where are you from originally? Where, where did you grow up? Uh, I mean, tell the two cities. I'm originally from Milwaukee, you know, raised in Kansas City, you know, Mill made Kansas City raised. Mm -hmm. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And tell me about your family. My family. Who you want to hear about first? <laughs> I got a big family, man. Uh, you had mom and dad? Yeah, mom. Yeah, mom, you know, hard worker, you know, nine to fives, like my whole life, everything like that, you know did the best she could, you know what I'm saying? Like, we never, it's not one of those stories, you know what I'm saying, where it was like, you know, we had to struggle to survive, you know, we we didn't really have much, but we, we had enough to make it to the next season for sure. You know, I just always been a man of abundance, you know what I'm saying? So, but nonetheless, like she put clothes on my back, she put food in my mouth and I, I had a roof over my head for sure. And where was dad? Uh, you know, he, he was, and out, in and out of the penitentiary and things like that, you know, he did the best he could as well. You know, they had me at a young age, 17 and 18. So, you know, he was just trying, you know, me per se, I'm 25 and I don't feel like I'm um, as ready for kids, you know, as I would have been at 17 or 18. So, you know, he was in and out of jail and um, just doing the best he could. You know, he made things happen from the inside as well. So. How would you describe your childhood in general? Uh, how I would describe it in general, I would describe it as a, uh, it depends, you know, because in, in, in each moment, you know, like sometimes time have to pass for you to really appreciate what was going on right then and there, you know, it might not look like it in real time, but I moved around a lot. So within that, I'm originally from Milwaukee and when I moved to Kansas City, that was kind of like traumatic for me, you know, cause I wasn't around like a lot of family and friends, you know? But um, it, it, it forced me to grow. It forced me to be like who I am today. You know what I'm saying? Like just adapting, you know, picking up different, picking up different cultures, you know what I'm saying? Coexisting with different kind of people. Um, I don't think I would be as articulate. I don't think I would be as comfortable as I would had I just been, you know, strict and uh, stuck in Milwaukee, like just born and raised, mm -hmm. for sure. But you returned, you returned to Milwaukee. Say it again. You're in Milwaukee now. Um, back and forth, yeah, for sure, yeah. Back and forth between. Yeah, M Milwaukee, Kansas City. Milwaukee, Kansas City. Yeah. And you finished high school. Yeah, I finished high school, graduated. And you, you got introduced to the game at what age? Um, I moved to Vegas around 18 years old. Straight out of high school, I moved out of my mom's house and everything like that. I went back to Milwaukee for probably about three months and just realized it's not where I wanted to be. So long story short, I ended up in Vegas. And um, it's it, it's some inspiration out there for sure. You know, it's some inspiration. It's a, it's a lot of, you know, pretty, you know what I'm saying, women. It's a lot of fly gentlemen and everything like that. But honestly, like when it comes to the game, I feel like everything it's just like everything I am is always what I've been, you know, like from like yay high, you know, like they say like people have like love languages and everything, you know, I feel like my introduction wasn't my introduction to the game. It was just. It wasn't it wasn't it wasn't an introduction to the game, you know what I'm saying? It was just me exercising elements of my character that was already there you know what i'm saying like i've always been a ladies kind of person you know i've always liked gifts and affirmations and things of that nature you know so my introduction to the game you know it it was it was inspirations from a lot of places i went you know to give the game is heavy in milwaukee the game is you know what i'm saying it's not as heavy but certain elements is even you know displayed in kansas city but when I moved to Vegas at 18, it was just in full throttle, you know, right before my eyes. It sounds like your personality is also, it lends itself to. Yeah, for sure. To do what you're doing too. For sure. Did you have anyone teach you or show you the ropes? Yeah, I can't say, you know, per se, I really had anybody, you know, take me under their wings and teach me how to fly. This is, you know, trial and error. You know, I bumped my head a couple of times, you know, probably got a lot of mistakes to make even, you know, so it's no, it's no, you know like self-made, self-paid, self-taught. And I, I definitely, you know, I, I'm a listener. 
So I definitely be amongst men and I be amongst individuals and, and I take what I can and, you know, I, I soak up, I soak up information and if I can apply it to my life, then I will, you know what I'm saying? But I believe in just being different and like blazing your own trail, you know, to a certain extent. So within that, I don't do, I don't really do anything. Like they say, you can ask, you know, uh, 10 men the same question and get 10 different answers. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I, ha I have answers to my own questions sometimes, but if I don't, you know, I don't, I don't mind, you know, calling a friend or play a partner or whatever the case may be. Like, I don't, you know, I don't mind asking for help, but for the most part, I, yeah. What's more important to you, uh, love or money? What's more important, love or money? I mean, love, love make the world go round. You know what I'm saying? Like money is going to come and go, you know what I'm saying? But it's like when you love what you do, you look in the mirror, you love who you are, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, you, you get like-minded individuals around you, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I, I can't really have you around me if... I don't have some type of love for you because I love me. You know what I'm saying? That means I love my energy. I love my space. You know what I'm saying? I love my peace of mind. So to a certain extent, you know, like I, I love everything I am and I love everything around me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm a Pisces, you know, I'm a worldly kind of person. You know what I'm saying? So it's all love with me. You know, the money is going to come. It always came, you know. You're 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 part of a, a, a small community that's one of the most hated. Right. For sure. In, in society. You know, pimps are just hated across the board without any kind of consideration of what role they play in these women's lives. Right. How do you defend your position as a as a P? I mean, it's not it's not a matter of, you know, like me defending anything. It's a matter of just being just being an example. You know what I'm saying? Like it's easy to hate something you know nothing about. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know anything about the war, but if you tell me it's a war going on, you know what I'm saying? Like by default, I'm probably gonna hate the other side. You know what I'm saying? So and it's like I'm not into politics. I don't know the war. You feel me? I've never met any of the sergeants, anybody out there, you know? But it's like once like we all humans at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I'm man, she's woman, you know what I'm saying? So within that, if, if it's something about me that you could take a liking to, then take a liking to it. If it's not, if it's something about me that you hate, that you genuinely hate because, you know, you've been around me and you observe me and you've seen these attributes, then hate me, you know what I'm saying? Who am I to tell you how to feel about me? I can only know how I feel about me and how I feel about you. I don't hate anybody, you know? It's all love with me. Yeah, you know? tell, me, tell me exactly how a girl goes from how, first off how do you find a girl well no. she, she finds you yeah i just you know i just look around and you know if she's looking at me and you know we make eye contact you know i you know may approach her she may approach me and we just see if there's compatibility there that's all i guess where i'm leading with this is in defense of pimps that right very often these girls are they come from broken homes right they're in the streets they're just trying to survive. Right. They're very, very bad with money. Mm -hmm. Incredibly bad with money, right? Right. But they, they, they have the ability to make money. For sure. And they get nowhere. Mm -hmm. And that's where you come into the picture. Right. I'm putting words in your mouth, but tell, tell me how far off base I am. I mean, you you summed it up pretty good, but you know, I, me per se, I like to think uh, it takes one to know one, you know what I'm saying? So if you coming from a broken place, you know what I'm saying? Like I have to be relatable to that broken place to a certain extent, you know what I'm saying? It's just some people haven't took out the time to really dedicate themselves and, and heal those broken places and those broken wounds and everything. So it's like, if a woman come into my life and I can help her with that because I've been through that, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm at an advantage, you know what I'm saying? And it's not me taking advantage. It's just me being relatable. I understand what you're going through. You know what I'm saying? You got to go through it to get to it. Let's go through it and get to it together. And you'll help her manage her money a little better. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. You know, make sure she's looking good and, and looking good feeling good you know it's like I, I i start with the mind you know what i'm saying like it, it's just confidence you know what i'm saying you looking in the mirror you know what i'm saying you you have you have to you have to tell yourself certain things you know what i'm saying even if she never felt like she was beautiful you know what i'm saying i like her to reiterate that she's beautiful you know what i'm saying i like her to reiterate that she's abundant you know what i'm saying the world is hers for the taking you know i like her to reiterate you know what i'm saying that you know it's nothing you know her 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 possibilities are endless you know what i'm saying so i think it's some it's training you know what I'm saying? Just a matter of what you tell yourself on a day-to-day -day basis. For How would sure. you describe your role in her life? I mean, I, I, there's so many things you could 
describe it as like a life coach a, a yeah a life co- a life coach a mentor you know what i'm saying nonetheless yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying a, a mentor a life coach you know what i'm saying a financial advisor security you know <laughs> i'm five five i'm not much security you know what i'm saying like i can't lie to you but i i can't tell you you know how to conduct yourself though you know what i'm saying sometimes sometimes things may transpire and everything like that where you have to defend yourself you know what i'm saying but f- first and foremost it's a matter of not panicking and defending yourself with your mind and analyzing the situation first and i could train you how to do that for sure i could train you how to do that you know what i'm saying but i don't know karate you know what i'm saying not no taekwondo or anything like that but for the most part i feel like you know situations get out of hand because people react in a negative kind of fashion you know what i'm saying but i don't feel like there's any situation you probably can't talk to talk through or finesse your way through or you know you know false tears your way through or anything like that so it's just a matter of uh having a game about yourself you know what i'm saying nonetheless some situations you make it out of some situations you don't you know what i'm saying but tell me, tell me about the learning process of you know, getting, getting, the, learning the ropes of the game. Uh, for me or for the you, young lady? For you, for you. Like what, what kind of things did you, you must have stories of things you learned along the way. I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm still a student in my game, in the, in the game myself. You know, I, I have a long way to go. You know what I'm saying? But I, I have, I have moments I'm not proud of. You know what I'm saying? I, I've experienced things, you know what I'm saying? Like that they would call green in the game and everything like that. And um, early on, I think it was just a matter of, you know, like the game has always been an inspiration to me. You know what I'm saying? So like I'm from Milwaukee, you know what I'm saying? So you got Pimpin' Snooky, you got Pimpin' King, you know what I'm saying? And I think they just uh, exercise, you know, the gift of gab. And I, and I took a liking to that, you know what I'm saying? Just being articulate, you know what I'm saying? But then you have, you know, certain individuals, you know what I'm saying, who actually have intellectual properties. And, you know what I'm saying? It, it's just a matter of like dis- different inspirations. But nonetheless, I feel like authenticity is like key. I went through a stage like when I was younger where it's not that I was going through an identity crisis, but it was like you would think it's like one way to do things, you know what I'm saying? But what works for you may not work for me and what wa- what works for me may not work for you, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I read the books, I watched the videos and everything and whoop de whoop, you know, and, and you would think, you know, you you hear certain individuals and it's like, you know what I'm saying? You got to smack a bitch. It's only right. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the, that's, the, that's the first key. You're not doing anything unless you smack a bitch, you feel me? But you 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 find out you know that's false and everything like that and and then i'm just like a person you know i'm a non-violent person you know what i'm saying so that never resonated with me you know what i'm saying so it was times like where i had to question like the game you know what i'm saying like or certain you feel me like teachings you know what i'm saying like that i found not to be true because just like you know you and like everybody else you know what i'm saying it's a lot of misconceptions and it's a lot of you know people feel like you know it's monstrous behaviors going on nonetheless you know there are discipline disciplinary actions that like take place in certain households and everything you know they call them like gorilla pimps or whatever the case may be but that's just never been my style you know what what is your style uh i i I like to consider myself you know just the ultimate gentleman the ultimate gentleman you know just like cut from the old old school cloth right i mean you you dress like a 70s 80s pimp Man, I just got this the other day. This no, is no, 2022, you, no. I mean, man. I mean, I, mean, I mean that as a compliment. <laughs> nah, I got you. I appreciate you. you look, I appreciate you, you. Yeah, I've all, I've always took a I always took pride in fashion, like for sure, you know. I, I definitely look up to uh some of the ones that like did it in a respectable fashion, like for sure. For sure. Yeah, cuz like I'm from L- LA. Right. And they're all called, they're all tennis shoe pimps. Yeah, 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 yeah. They you know, jeans with holes in them and yeah. tennis shoes and. Yeah, everybody t-shirt. can't put that shit on, man. Everybody can't put that shit on. You know, you're a product of your environment. You know, I I grew up, you know, what I'm saying around flyness to a certain extent. My dad was a fly guy. You know, what I'm saying he wasn't no pimping, but he was definitely fly. You know, suited and booted and uh, you know, perm, long hair. I grew up wanting a perm and everything. You know, he drove a Cadillac and you know, what I'm saying it was it was just certain elements that resonated with the game, but my dad was not of the game but nonetheless he definitely uh he had access to whores and everything like that so what, what, uh, what do your parents think of your lifestyle um it's it's um it's pretty much you know like they know me they know my character you know what i'm saying like my my mother you know what i'm saying she's had you know 
she's had the platform to meet women, you know what I'm saying? And, and my mom, Bo, you know what I'm saying? Is he treating you right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I've had, I've had young ladies, you know what I'm saying, who come into my life, you know, with children and everything, you know? So it's like, it's, it's a matter of handling your business, like as a man, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't hide nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like what you see is what you get, you know what I'm saying? So it's nothing for her to be ashamed of really, you know? So the girls will bring you the money. Yeah. And, and in exchange for that, you're kind of, you're, you're really helping them to improve the quality of their lives. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. You know, I just make the money, you know, make the money, make more money, you know, find avenues, you know what I'm saying? Put you in the right places and the right faces and everything like that. And just, you know, exercise your feminine energy, you know, and your intellectual properties once you get there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, you know, me and my women, like we read together, you know what I'm saying? Like we, uh, we, we, you know, quality time, you know what I'm saying? We, we take time to self-observe, you know what I'm saying? To reflect, you know what I'm saying? It's all about just being the ultimate person, you know what I'm saying? Being the ultimate you that you can be, you know what I'm saying? Like I wake up and see how I can be better than yesterday. You know what I'm saying? I want, I want women in my life to wake up and see how they can be better than yesterday, you know? And, and it's, it's, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? So like within that, I'm constantly growing because I want to be the ultimate me that I can be, you know what I'm saying? And I want the same for everybody around me, not just the women in my life. I want that for my mom. I want that for my dad. I want that for my sister. I want that for my brother. So I'm going to give you that constructive criticism. Now, what you do with that information, once you get it, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? But if I see a flaw, a character flaw, or I see a, a personality trait that could use some work. I'm going to bring that to your table. I'm going to bring that to your attention. And and if you choose and you want to be better, you want to be the ultimate you. Either you're going to address it or you won't address it. You know. And your girls, you you and your girls stay in apartments or house or motels. Uh, you know, we we've experienced we we've experienced a couple places. You know, what I'm saying apartments, hotels, and everything. You know, the living conditions they they they're up to par. Okay. They're up to par for sure. And are drugs a part of your life? No, absolutely not. You know, I might I might have a drink every now and again, but for the most part, you know, I got a clean campaign. You know what I'm saying? Like I want I want you to be sober. I want to be sober. And because clarity is everything, you know, the the mind is the mind is a beautiful thing and a terrible thing to waste. You know what I'm saying? So we don't need pollution there. You know what I'm saying? Like I need you to be a sharp thinker because I need to be a sharp thinker. You know, I need you know, we here to balance each other out as man and woman. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes there might be something that you can't see and I see and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? But you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Under 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 the influence of anything really honestly you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day like these women like they are grown they make their own decisions to a certain extent and everything like that so i'm not saying you can't go out and have a drink or whatever the case may be but it's just a matter of like conducting yourself like a lady at all times that's what it's about for me and just to be clear your girls are not being forced or manipulated no anything. absolutely not you know like it's on their own yeah i you know like before you know i force anybody to do anything you know what i'm saying like you can go your separate ways you can have the money you know what i'm saying like I, if you want to be in my life i want you to be in my life if you qualify to be in my life if you don't then we can go our separate ways you know just don't slam no doors or break no windows on your way out and everything is cool you know what i'm saying like i want you to be I want you to be to me what I am to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be respectful. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be upfront. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be loyal. You know what I'm saying? And these are the, and I'm leading by example. So once I show you these qualities, I want the same in return. You know what I'm saying? Because if I'm not receiving the same in, in return, you can keep your money. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, like, I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm well off to a certain extent, you know? Are, uh, are the pimps in Milwaukee similar to the ones in LA where they're just dressing down and, uh, uh, Milwaukee always had, style? Milwaukee always had their own sense of like style and fashion, you know what I'm saying? So it's like sometimes like dressing down to you, you feel me? Like maybe, you know, the ultimate putting that shit on in Milwaukee, you know what I'm saying? So it's just a matter of a tale of two cities, two different cultures and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, like this, this is a regular day in the life for me, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't call this dressing up, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they would call it dressing up though, so... It's just a matter of it's just a matter of your style. It's just a matter of, you know what I'm saying? And with Milwaukee, like we have certain brands and we have certain stores and everything like that where you have to go find certain ingredients, you know what I'm saying? Especially like when you you're you you don't have a million dollars in your pocket and you can't just go to Louis Vuitton or Versace or whatever the case may be. It's about taking those ingredients and putting them together in a in a in a in a, in a fashion kind of sense, you know? What what do you make of uh 
the technology that's kind of come into the game now where a lot of I mean, I don't using OnlyFans as a way to make money. I mean, I don't, you know, OnlyFans, you know, like OnlyFans is a platform, you know what I'm saying? But before OnlyFans, you know, there were other platforms, you know what I'm saying? It's just OnlyFans is just, you know, it's just it's just directions. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, I'm going to build this website. You upload your pictures. You upload your videos. We're going to pay you. I'm not against it, but I'm not for it. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, that's something like we can do by ourselves. That's something we can do. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's cut out the middleman. Let's really get to it. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? It's different strokes for different folks. You know what I'm saying? If you have a platform, you got a 100,000 followers and you can use only fans to your advantage, you know what I'm saying, to occur some passive income, then let's do it, you know? Let's do it. Like I don't I don't feel like it should be obsolete, you know what I'm saying? Like everything grows, everything evolves, you know what I'm saying? And that's what we have to do as people as well, you know what I'm saying? So I think it's just a matter of adapting. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not right and fuck only fans or whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? It's a matter of using it to your advantage if you can if not if it don't belong in your program you don't see a way it's beneficial then hey don't use it you know what i'm saying like that's that's my personal intake on it but if you know like i like like social media in itself is like a drug right now you know what i'm saying like and since it came out it's always been a drug like i shit i had facebook since i was like probably nine years old before that i had a myspace you know what I'm, saying? I'm only 25 you know what i'm saying so Regardless, it's like attention, attention seeking is like a real thing. You know what I'm saying? And believe it or not, some young ladies and even men, you know, well, boys or whatever the case may be, like they rather have the likes than the money. You know what I'm saying? They rather have that attention than the money. You know what I'm saying? As long as some people, as long as they could look good on Instagram, they don't give a fuck if they got to eat noodles. They got to sleep on the floor. They got to do this. They got to starve. They can't call their mom because they can't pay their cell phone bill. They getting them likes on Instagram. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I like my, uh, I like my social media platform to, to reflect you know what I'm saying? What I truly am because I'm not perfect. I still got some growing to do. I still got some money to obtain. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's like what you see is what you get. You know what I'm saying? In front of the camera and behind the camera. And, you know, so OnlyFans, I don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem with it at all. What, what, what do you look for in a girl? What do I look for in a girl? Yeah. Are there personality traits or um, qualities? That... I mean, for sure, you know, like it's it's just a matter of us. Like, I need you to be able to understand me. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to be understood, and I'm not obsolete for that. I want you to understand me. And in return, understand me. And in return, I want to understand you. You feel me? And it's a matter of us being compatible. You know, I like I like feminine energy. You know what I'm saying? I like a woman. You know what I'm saying? And whatever you are, I want you to be the ultimate that. So you don't have to come to me perfect because, you know, it, if you if you're not as ladylike as I would like you to be, like I said, I'm going to bring it to your attention. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, let's work on this together. You feel me? But I want you to be the ultimate everything. You know what I'm saying? As long as you want to be like, I can't tell you who to be and what to be. I can only see to it that you want to be the best you that you can be. If you're a mother, I want you to be the ultimate mother. You know what I'm saying? So I just look for somebody with drive, with confidence, you know what I'm saying? With, 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 with a willingness to go further and want to do their best. That's all. That's all. It's no, you know, like a lot of people, you know, contrary to popular belief, you know, people say like, you know, you may be looking for a woman that's like broken or, you know, what I'm saying in distressed or depressed and everything. And nonetheless, those women like do come along, you know, what I'm saying. And if you can be a helping hand, then do so, you know, what I'm saying, because that is a part of a game. But I, I'm a builder, you know, what I'm saying. So I don't mind having a project. I don't need you to come to me. Perfect. You know, what I'm saying. I, w I want you to come to me striving to be perfect, though. That's what I like. You know what I'm saying? Like a woman that just, she don't have to know. She just have to want to know. You know? She don't have to do. She just have to want to do. You know what I'm saying? It don't have to be done already when you come to me. But we have to strive to get it done. Is there a romantic component to these relationships? Yeah, for sure. For sure. You know? What, you know? It's a matter of, you know, we're going we gonna to get some money, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like, you know, man and woman, you know what I'm saying? That intimacy is, like, important, like, for sure, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, some guys don't believe, you know what I'm saying? Taking a bitch to a movie or what, 
if I want to go to the movie with the young lady in my life, you know what I'm saying? We're going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Well, what happens when there's three or four young ladies? Then we're all going to the movies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all hold hands and I'm going to sit over here and uh, we're going to enjoy this movie together. Like, nonetheless, it's like, yeah, I believe in quality time. You know what I'm saying? I believe in, you know, I, I just don't believe in, you know, too much of anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, this game is about, in my personal opinion, you know what I'm saying? Like, emotional intelligence you know what i'm saying i don't want you too consumed with your feelings you know what i'm saying because i want you to exercise your right to think i want you to exercise those thoughts i want you to exercise your right to really analyze and understand what you're gone going through and what you're going to go through and what you're doing and what you've done you know what i'm saying so when people get in their emotions you feel me like sometimes things get blurry sometimes things get you know what i'm saying misconstrued you know what i'm saying because feelings like it, it, it's it's it, they're tied to passion. You know what I'm saying? If you're angry, you're going to be angry. If you're happy, you're going to be happy. You know what I'm saying? So I want your emotions to line up with logic. That's all. You know, and I feel like spending too much time may distract you from what's important. You know, too much affection may distract you from what's important. You know what I'm saying? Too much, you know, intimacy may distract you from what's important, you know? And what would you say is the most important lesson you learned in your life? The most important lesson I've learned in my life? Why are you dropping these bombs on me like this? <laughs> You're 25. <laughs> that's, a lot, that's a lot to ask. Yeah, the most important lesson... Or, I'll, or the lesson you've learned lately? Uh, just, just being you. Just being authentic. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, what's for you is going to be for you. What's not is not going to be for you. You know what I'm saying? And if you have to fake something or someone to obtain something you're not going to enjoy it once you get it because that was never you and it was never for you you know what i'm saying that present that gift was for who they thought you were you know what i'm saying so it's just a matter of you know what i'm saying exercising your authenticity like for sure and just being true to who you are you know what i'm saying because i feel like you know we all gifted you know what i'm saying and in order to receive those gifts and appreciate those gifts you have to understand the address that those gifts are on for sure so just be you. It's nice to meet a young man in the game with principles. For sure. Who believes in authenticity. And you never met a young man with principles, man? No, in, in the game, not so much. <laughs> you'd be surprised what I learned when I meet in LA, you'd be disappointed. Yeah. With. But, uh, you know, good communication, authenticity, honesty, all these things are yeah. important. Absolutely. For doing business, for relationships, for everything. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's just a matter of exercising your truth, being who you are. And, you know, just getting what God got for you, for sure. All right. 100. Thank you so much. 100. For you know, trying to give them reasons every season, you know. 100 reasons why. You know, and I'm only 25. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get more reasons under my belt, you know. <laughs> you get them. For sure. Appreciate you, man. All right. Thank you.